So today I'm going to show you how to make a weaving on a cardboard loom. You're going to start with a rectangle piece of cardboard first. And the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make some marks that are evenly spaced across the top. And you always want to make sure that you have an even number. So I'm going to start with four and then I'm going to turn it around to the bottom and I'm going to do four more. You don't need to use a Sharpie for this. I'm just doing it so that you guys can see my lines easier. And then we're going to cut them. Now that I have all my slots cut on my loom, um, I am ready to attach my yarn. So I'm going to take a piece of yarn and tape it to the back. And then I'm going to wrap it around the cardboard using these slots I just made. I can go ahead and put my name on the tape so that I know that this is my weaving. And I'm going to cut the extra yarn off. And then you see we have four straight warp threads is what these are called so that we can weave into them. And the next thing I'm going to do is get another color of yarn and put it on my needle. An easy way to put your yarn on your needle instead of trying to do it this way because that's going to take you a while and sometimes the thread frays and goes into pieces. Just take the thread, lay it over the needle, pinch it, and pull it fairly tight. Pull the needle off and now it's squished. I'm not letting go. I'm still pinching and sticking it through the hole of the needle. Now I have something to pinch and pull through. You don't have to do this next step, but I find it is helpful so that your thread doesn't come out of the needle. You just make a loop, put the end through the loop and tie it so that you have a, your yarn is attached to your needle. Now when we're weaving, we're just making a pattern. It's going under, over, under, over. And then you're just going to pull it through. You want to leave a little bit of a tail because we're going to have to tuck that in at the end. And then when you go to the next row, you're doing opposite. So it's going over right here. Now I'm going to go under, over, under, over. And I'm going to pull it all the way through until it touches my warp thread. I don't want to pull it too tight because see what happens to this warp thread. It starts to get squished in. So you just keep going like that under, over, under, over. Now a lot of people get to this point and they think, oh, I'm finished and I'm ready to take it off my loom. But you're not quite finished because see all these spaces in between the yarn? That's too much space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers and I'm pushing up the yarn so that it's closer together. You should not see a bunch of space in between the yarn. So I still am only halfway through so I'm just going to keep going. And then when I start to run out of yarn I'm going to make sure that I leave enough for a tail at the end and take my needle off and we're going to just leave the tail out and I'm just going to start with the next color. You can keep going with the same color or you can get a different color. I'm going to leave a tail right here. Now, if you are having trouble with your yarn just keeps pulling out, one thing that might be happening is because you're forgetting to go under and you're going over instead. So if I go the same direction and go over, under, over, under, watch what happens to my yarn. Oh snap, I just pulled it all the way out. So that is why 
you have to do the opposite and go around the warp thread when you get to the end. But that's a good trick to know just in case you mess up. Just follow the direction your yarn went and you can pull out your last row. Now when you get to the end of your loom and you're out of space, now it's time to untie your knot from your needle, but don't take the yarn off the needle just yet because I'm going to have to take this yarn and I'm going to weave it through these loops on the side. And you don't have to go all the way up, halfway is good. And I'm going to just pull the yarn through. Now if you forget this step and you don't do it, your weaving is going to fall apart. So this is a pretty important step not to forget. And now I'm going to do the same thing with all of these. All of these need to be tucked in so that they don't fall out. When I have all my tails tuck, tucked into the sides. I'm ready to take this off of my loom. So to do that, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to take off the tape and I'm going to slide my scissors in the middle right underneath them and I'm going to cut these strings. Now I can turn it over and take two off at a time and I'm going to tie knots in them. So I'm going to cross them, put this through the loop and I'm going to do that two times. And I need to do that for all of my ends. Now I have my weaving off. This piece of cardboard can go back into Fiber Arts Center because we can use it again to make another weaving. If you don't like these strings hanging off of it, you can always take your scissors and cut them off. You don't have to. It's a personal preference whether you like that or not. And then you can either leave your weaving like this or you can add some more yarn to it. Maybe make it a bracelet or a pendant. Um, if you want to get real fancy, you can braid some yarn to make it into a necklace and add some beads. There's lots of things that you can do with it. But this is what your finished weaving should look like. And notice, since it's all tied and tucked in, it's not falling apart. Mm -hmm.